In 2014, the World Scout Conference held in Slovenia had adopted the current World Scout Youth Involvement Policy, which provides directions within the Scout movement on how to strengthen and ensure youth involvement at all levels. And now, we would like to take you on a quick journey through it. The basic principle that this policy is based on states that Scouting is a movement of young people supported by adults. It is not a movement for young people managed by adults only. Thus, Scouting offers the potential for a learning community of young people and adults working together in a partnership of enthusiasm and experience. This basic principle is a life concept for youth involvement in Scouting. Before explaining more, we should know what we mean by youth involvement. It is the process of enabling young people to actively share responsibilities with adults that affect their lives and the lives of others in their communities. The policy also includes more definitions that help you understand the big picture. But why youth involvement? Simply because young people think outside of the box. Youth have the right to be represented. The collaboration between young people and adults can develop relevant skills and positive attitudes. It fosters responsibility and sustainability with communities and institutions. And above all, it is part of the Scout method. And now, how to involve young people. The policy identified the ways at three levels. The unit level, where the grassroots education in the Scout unit by the Scout method starts through the team system and leadership experience. The institutional level, where involving young people in decision-making processes happens within all structures at local, national, regional and world level within the Scout movement. The community level, where young people effectively contribute to resolving the challenges facing their communities as active citizens creating a positive change. Finally, the policy gives examples of what kind of challenges youth involvement faces, such as mismanagement, inappropriate tools, lack of training, etc. And it provides, in its annexes, some institutional information and scientific theories that help with understanding more about the concept of youth involvement. This was just a summary of the key points to inspire you to read it. If you want to learn more about the history, the concepts, the time frame, how to implement and much more, please visit www.scout.org slash youth involvement.